Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela, I'm the crazy poppy lady and welcome back and that's Liam and uh, welcome back to a Tuesday's Live. Uh, fingers crossed a couple of you come in to know it. It's been very, very quiet over on YouTube this week, hasn't it? Well, as for me anyway. Right, um, let me think. You can get your mitts off it. It was not a stick, it was my pencil. <laughs> He ate my pencil. Kaz, welcome in, darling. Good day to you too, honey. She's like, well, good day. So she says, it's, my, it's mine, it's not your stick. <laughs> he nabbed that earlier, he did, Kaz. So far, he's had a Pringles tube. He's had a pencil. Um, What else did you nick? You nick lots today, haven't you? I wouldn't mind, he's got a whole bucket of toys. <laughs> Liam, Kaz says you're cute. Oh, you, oh, you scumbucket. <laughs> right. Oh, so, uh, what are you up to, Kaz? Are you doing anything interesting? Being turbo cute at the moment, aren't you? Hi Jane and welcome in darling. Right, I best get on with my brain is really not in gear today. Right, for I think you girls were here last week anyway. Hi Smirnoff, welcome in darling. Right, um, I'm still running the New Year's blowout over on Ravelry. So if you prefer to work with a written patterns or you want to get your hands on this one, um, then you can if you pop over to the Ravelry shop, links at the top of the um, chat. And it's also, of course, in the drop down box of this video. If you pop over there um, and write in the letters N, Y, and B, O um, before you uh, purchase, um, you'll get yourself 10% off the patterns. <laughs> um, okay, I'll get to your um, messages in a second. Um, yeah, brain is really not in gear. Sorry, I've just put some hand cream on. It's My hands are really dodgy. Um, Right, okay, if you could also um, do us a favour, hit that thumbs up and double check you're still subscribed just in case them evil bots have decided that you haven't commented enough and they've kicked you off. I don't kick people off, but the bots are evil. Um, right, and tonight's winner-only pattern that is up for grabs is, is of course, no strings. Um, and that is 122 rows of a corner to corner, but you can use the different stitches if you prefer. Um, which leads me in beautifully to this week's um, Stitch A Week, which of course is the Corner to Corner Mini. I had to do it. I had to be evil to you at some point, gang. I thought, do you know what? I'll get the Corner to Corners out of the way. So guess what you got next week? There is no prize for getting that guess correct, though. Okay. Um, and if you don't manage to uh, win today, uh, don't panic. There is another chance for you to get your hands on no strings by entering the competition that is over on the whips and bits that was put up on Sunday and also a third chance which is over on the Instagram account yeah I've got one of them informations in the description box um yeah I think that's about it isn't it yeah I think that's about it <laughs> let's get on with reading your comments okay so uh, Tangled is in she's saying hello and everybody uh, Jane is saying that she loves the co-host Liam he's on his own chair not quite a chair you know these big long storage boxes we brought one of them for the Christmas decorations but I nicked it for in here and traded off the the two that I had under the table and this one's got wheels <laughs> so um so now I've got his box, there's a box, it's got all my my crocheted stuff in it but it has one Liam's blanket over the top of it so he knows he's allowed to sit there and that gets pulled out for lives every now and then. If he starts being a cantankerous toe rag, which he was doing last week, I kick him out. Um, and by being cantankerous toe rag, it's every time I try and touch the mouse, to move the mouse, he splats my hand. <laughs> He nearly cut us off last week. Um, yeah, absolute nightmare he was, but love him to bits, didn't we? Um, 
Sarah's here, but she'll be in and out, and she's cooking her dinner, and she's saying hello to everybody. And Sabrina is also doing her dinner. It's dinner time for quite a lot of us over here in the UK. I really should pick a better time, shouldn't I? All right, Kaz is saying that there is nothing interesting there. It's 6 a.m. She'll stay up a little longer for me. 6 a.m.? Yeah, isn't it? What are you doing up, woman? You are back crazy. You should be asleep. Or just waking up now to get your coffee. One of the two. Um, so Sarah, of course, is tackling her corner to corner um, C2C mini. How are you finding it, darling? Um, it, my mini is a little bit different to other minis. Sabrina told me earlier. <laughs> She's like, that look a bit different again, girl, wouldn't you? And I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> help. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's just a case of trying to find stuff and trying to make it as easy as possible. I think I've added in an extra um, half double crochet. I think it might have only meant to have been two, but I've put in three per block. But that, to me, makes a more solid block. Um, oh, that's back. Yeah, a bit more of a solid block. So if you're using it to transfer one of these images that I've made and you're dropping down the size, then it means it's still a square, a nice square. I know, because I'm doing it at the moment. Oh, with that big monster over there. <laughs> so Kaz is saying, good day, ladies, and nice to see you all again. And Kaz is saying that she fell asleep early, so she's woken up early. She's keen to try the mini C to C. Well, as I said, that one went up at four o'clock my time today. So it's going to be available for you all day, honey. All day, actually. Oh, yeah. And Sarah is saying, easy peasy. Good, good. Well, you've already been beaten today, Kaz. Uh, Sabrina got in there first with a photograph of about what was it 30 minutes after the video went up she's like boom 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 done so we've got um we've got a new crazy that's joined joined the cow that i'll get to show you her her stitch work on a sunday and then of course we will have our crazies that have already had a go at um the rest that you already know are doing it um their photos fingers crossed if they arrive in time will be up of course on sunday's whips and bits um, Amy, uh, welcome in darling, she's saying good evening, she can't stay long as she's got to get the little one to bed But she'll catch up tomorrow on what she misses, thank you babes um, So how little's your little one? Um, Sabrina is saying she's loving Stitch a Week, it's her favourite project at the moment I think, I'm, I must admit I'm enjoying it because it's short sharp sweet um, So each one of the videos um takes me about four hours to make because <laughs> i forget what i'm doing um they take me a while to make but looking up looking back at them from your point of view the squares will only take you an hour if that it depends on how quick you are with the stitch if you know the stitch you'll knock it out even quicker if you don't know the stitch then it's fine you can sit there and rewind replay as many times as you want until it sinks in um Kaz is saying, wow, great job, Sabrina. That's because you got in first this week, didn't you, babes? Um, um, no, Smirnoff, it was actually done on the day. Sorry, um, Smirnoff has said, it's not looked at the block of the week video yet, but considering the name of tonight's show, it looks like a Bat Out of Hell cover tribute. Um, I know it was probably done way before, but it's fitting. No, it was actually done on the day. I absolutely love Meatloaf. Um, never got to actually see him live or anything like that. Um, but love his stuff. I just need to get my CDs back out the car because yes, I've got them in CD. And I, they're my, it's my drive. They're my his um, albums are my driving albums for when I go to visit the family that are on um, in the southeast of England. I'm in the southwest. So I know I can put him back out of hell and get to Essex. Um, sort of, maybe I can listen through it once and then put back out of hell and then put back into hell one as well. 
So I do the whole set and I just drive and sing. <laughs> it does, does hub his head in. He's like, oh, not again. And it's like, well, you get to choose when you drive. I get to choose when I drive. Oh, so Amy's little one is six. Little boy or a little girl, darling? Natalie's here. She's saying hello. All she's doing her chores, so she'll be lurking. And a crotchety clock is in. I managed it. Yay! She's saying hey, hey, hey. Tangled is saying that she's still trying to decide which C to C to do. Are we to for which blanket? Tangled is that um the no strings? Did you win that one this? month already i haven't got that list going yet of the people who've won it i need a list but i'm so bad yes sarah he's definitely good for his meatloaf's music is definitely good for cleaning too it depends though if i'm in a chilled mood it sounds strange if i'm in a chilled mood i listen to meatloaf if i'm in an angry mood it's um pink um, if I just need to get it done, <laughs> then um, oh, I've got the I've got the album cover in, pictured, but I cannot for the life of me think of the name of the band. Oh, I can't think now. It'll come back to me later. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. No. Um, oh, okay, Kaz. I didn't realise I hadn't done that. Thank you, darling. Um, right, so Kaz is telling me to not forget to add the last two Stitch of Weeks to the playlist. Um, she's saved it and she's it's only the first two weeks in there, yeah. Because if um, I loaded them up as five, I loaded five up to start with. Um, but if I automatically put them into the playlist, they become visible at that moment in time for, <laughs> for you clever guys that just hit the playlist. Um, Whereas I want to try and keep it a little bit hush hush until they're actually proper, the video is actually properly released. So I I have to go back in and then put them onto the playlist. So I, I will get that done for you girls. Thank you for reminding me, Kaz. Oh, Smirnov, you are so lucky. She's a big Meatloaf fan too, and she's lucky enough to have seen him a few times and have met him twice. Jane loves meatloaf. I can tell the generation of my crazies just by the fact we all love meatloaf. It's brutal. Um, Life Entangled has said no, not yet. Um, but she wants it. Well, we'll get to see if one of you girls are lucky enough to get it or a couple of you girls are lucky enough to get it today. Yeah, um, from what I know of him, he was very, very down to earth and he didn't want to be known as a singer he wanted his music to be known more than him which i thought was amazing um and clogger is saying he's, he's one of the best rock for rock opera yeah <laughs> sarah's saying nickelback a good too yeah they are and amy's got two boys and her other one is a teenager whoa that's a nasty gap <laughs> sorry i shouldn't say it like that i've got a five-year age gap and i've got chalk and cheese kids i really have steph oh, welcome in darling she's saying hello and i've just realized i got my chat on wrong so if i have missed anybody i'm really really sorry i'll have a quick nose up hopefully i haven't missed any of your comments if i have just clap me on the head and say it again <laughs> okay i'm getting all confused now <laughs> steph is saying hi to marianne um but i can't remember who that is as <laughs> i go by your channel names still i know uh, this man off was saying he was an incredible man very humble and um our clogger is saying hey hey steph now i know but i won't remember will i they know what i'm like and purple was saying she's got 11 years between her girls perhaps i thought i was bad with five i just i'm lucky i was lucky it was only five if it had been more it would have been a right old slog all right so uh, what are you girls um drinking what are you girls crocheting if you are 
<laughs> or what bit of the house have you got to clean first this morning, gang in Oz? Welcome in, Apple Play. What are you up to today, mister? Now I've got to remember to stop calling everybody girls or he might tell me off. <laughs> Right, okay, so our Smanoff is saying she's got four kids, her eldest two, there's only 11 months between them. Eldest to youngest is 14 years. Steph, buy a telly! <laughs> Sorry, now we know why Steph took up crochet, she's got six kids. <gasps> Ooh. Oh no, sorry, I read that wrong. I read six kids, not six years between her girls. Okay, you're okay, Steph. Sorry for picking on you there. Um, our, uh, our clogger is saying that there was twelve years between her and her, between her and her brother. There was three between me and my sister, and then seven between me and my brother. Um, yeah, it's it's a really strange one, isn't it? Oh, Steph is working with a super fine weight yarn for a shawl. Uh, it's a shawl for her neighbour. Okay, I got giggled at, so <laughs> Steph's forgiven me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this delay thing is really annoying at times. So, Mr. Plorpie, what are you working on today, mister? I've... <laughs> Smanoff is saying the eldest two make great babysitters. Oh no, mine mine fought too much, so I couldn't risk leaving them alone, otherwise one would have killed the other. And Purple is saying her brothers and sisters were teenagers when she was born. Whoa, 22 years for Sabrina between her and her youngest brother. That's insane. And <laughs> poor Play is saying, I'm not working on anything, I need to finish my sweater. <laughs> yeah, so who who have we got? Have we got Dan, Daniel here? Have we got Ash? Hmm. Guessing it's possibly Daniel. Because I see you the most in the uh, on these streets, and uh, whether it's Daniel or Ash, <laughs> one of them has said hey to Sarah. Spanoff is saying that all of hers are all grown up now. The youngest is away at uni. It's strange. Yeah, I've had one come back from uni and then move out and go and live with me mum. Um, and then she she was just like, I can't live by your house rules. It's insane. <laughs> so she's gone to live by my mum's and they're exactly the same. Um, and then my youngest, she's what, 16 now. So we've got another couple of years yet before she makes that decision. Hey, we got Dan in the house today. Kill. Remember, Dan, you know what I'm like. I'm just call you poor players. <laughs> um, Steph is saying, wow, Sabrina, 22 years. That's a huge gap. Uh, Precious Yana is in. Uh, welcome in, darling. She's saying hello to everybody. <laughs> Crotchet is... <laughs> sorry, our clock is saying, yep. Many thought I was my brother's child, especially when he and his girlfriend would babysit me. I was trying not to say it. So, um, yes, we've got another Angela in. Um, uh, our pre my precious Yanari, she is the other Angela that I, so I say about. So, if you're directing a com comment to me and you're not using the at and the uh, symbol to highlight her name, by all means, call her Angela, but call me Poppy from this point on, or I am going to get so confused. You'd think I wouldn't. I used to have a girl in my registration class at school called Angela as well, and her name was first in the register, mine was last. And yet, every day, without fail, my teacher had to, used to have to say to me, no, Angela, the other one at <laughs> reception, because I would always answer for the pair of us. Always. 
because I never could remember who was first and who was second. I'm starved. Um, where are we? So, uh, Paul Polo is saying hi to the other Angela. Um, Sabrina is saying hello, Daniel. Sorry, I'm just eating dinner. It's normal for her. <laughs> um, uh, and then he's come back with, hey, Sabrina, I hope you're doing well. Zara is saying hello to the other Angela. Tangled is saying her youngest is 27 and the oldest is 29. That's not a very big gap. That's only a three year, isn't it? No, two. Oof. Um, and Zilver is saying hello. Welcome in, darling. Um, hi, Poppy. Hope you're okay. Yes, Silver, I am. Thank you ever so much, darling. <laughs> Sarah says she just calls me crazy. <laughs> that works too. Um, Oh, Silver is there, but she is cooking steak. Uh, hold on, I have missed something here. Yes, I will stroke you again in a minute. Oh, it's not letting me do it. No. So Smirnoff is saying she's only ever found one other Sm Smirnoff, which is not her actual name, <laughs> is how I could say it. And it was a bloke. Uh, Silver is in and she's saying, hello, Angela. Hello, everybody. No, don't start playing that game tonight, mister. Sit your bum down. Sit. Thank you. Good boy. Sorry, he's got a new game and it's called Rest Underneath the Girls and Nudge Them So They Bounce. And I can't afford to have him do that on camera. <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh, Jane, that's evil. Jane was. Jane said there was five Janes in her class of 30 in school. I thought it was bad. I'm trying to think. No, in mine, I'm talking infants infants and juniors. So from the age of four and a half to the age of 11, there, there was two Angelas in the class. Um, when I moved schools, we had a lot of Claire's. That seemed to be the name for my area for my year. Um, Purple is saying that she'll be around to yours soon, Silver. Um, Sarah is cooking salmon, fish, cakes, chips and peas. Amy's heading out now. So she's saying, um, got to go, sorry, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you for joining us tonight, darling. Silver says her other half had surf and turf and she had roasted veg and steak. Ooh. Um, then we got Smirnoff saying, oh, yummy salmon fish cakes. And Silver's saying, there is plenty to go around. And then we've got a bye, Amy, from our Sarah. All right, okay. So for the girls that have just come in. Um, sorry, girls girls and boy. <laughs> just come in. A oh, boy. Can't forget you, can we? Um, week four's video of A Stitch a Week went up this week. And, of course, I had to do it. I had to get in this quicker than anything else. With our Corner to Corner mini. Now, I got this in as soon as possible because, of course, with my winner own knee pattern, it is massive. It is quite a large one. So, I would suggest you use a three weight yarn or a DK if you're in the UK or an eight ply if you're in Australia um, and a, a hook that's suitable for that yarn. So, are we on a four millimeter, I suppose? Don't ask me the letter, I can't remember it, sorry. Um, and that's the combination that I'm using to make the blanket I'm now doing. Um, because otherwise <laughs> it will take over the house. Put it like this, the a blanket that I'm doing at the moment um, is now pretty much the same size. Oh, I've missed it. The same size as this guy behind me here. Okay, it's about the same size as this one. But... It's done in a C to C mini. If I'd have done it or carried on doing it, I should say, in the um, corner to corner standard stitch, it would have fitted a double bed, if not a queen or a king or however the order of the sizing goes. But basically, it would have fitted on my bed. And we've got a big bed because we're both quite tall. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> definitely go down if you're um, down in size, if you're doing one of the Dismo ones. If you're doing the uh, Marv any from the Marvelous range, you'll be fine. Just um, 
and just use your standard C to C and then it will be the same sort of size as these guys. I, I, Sarah's saying, not plenty to go around, sorry, got hungry up his drooling. <laughs> um, people are saying bye bye to um, Amy and then Crotchety, uh, our clogger, is saying that she had a salmon, um, salmon here super late. Cool. Kath, welcome in, gorgeous. And no, you haven't missed much yet. I just done my normal talking about the 10% off if you use the code NYBO over on the Ravelry shop. Um, and of course, we've got the stitch, um, the corner to corner was this week's stitch week, and that went up at four o'clock today. Sabrina's already in with the first picture for this one, so I'm waiting to see who's in second, third, and fourth. And Fifth, I think we've yeah, because we've now got five crazies doing it. Um, and apart from that, everyone's been telling me about their food <laughs> and and kids and <laughs> kids' ages. So yeah, sorry, Smirnoff, I spoiled the fun there. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, so hello, says Sabrina to her cat. Oh no, not again, Kath. So Kath is saying, right, you are Smirnoff. I have my days mixed up in my head again. And Kaz is saying that we're all making her hungry. Well, what are you having for breakfast, honey? It's got to be cracking on close to time. Are you a cereal girl, a toast girl? Or are you going to cook some pancakes out on the barbie? Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> couldn't resist. <sighs> Oh dear. Right, so who wants to have a nose at this? Oh. <laughs> Actually, Smirnoff, I sent her a message saying I'm on in five. <laughs> I did it this week. She just hasn't opened up Facebook yet. Um. As so our, our spin off is saying, oh, Kath, you need to set alarms. And Kaz is saying she had cereal a couple of hours ago, but her mouth is watering reading all these ideas. Well, at least you've got some ideas for dinner tonight. Oh, Silver's making pancakes for Brecky and tomorrow. She's making the batter in a bit. So hold on, I'm trying to think, you're over in America aren't you Silva, or are you the UK? I'm just trying to work out, do you have little round ones, or do you just cover the bottom of the pan like I do? Um, and Kaz has said, hi Kath, long time, how are you doing? Kath said she had leftover macaroni with ham and cheese this evening. And Smirnoff's having a giggle at me as normal. Bonus! Right, okay, I'm going to attempt to show you uh, my little beauty. <laughs> she says it ain't little at all. Ain't little at all. Right, this bad boy is now up to row 114 of... Give me a minute. <laughs> um, 161. But it's not... I've not got too far to go. I've only got to get to 143 before I can just get rid of all but the whites um <laughs> so i can't wait for that one um oh pants i thought i had kath sorry darling okay i'll let you off <laughs> i'll let you off it was me being daft i probably typed it in but didn't press send because hey you know what i'm like sorry bad poppy <laughs> um right so as man off is saying that she had a sub where she couldn't be bothered to cook don't blame you. If you don't have to, and you can get away with not doing it. Oh, right, it's the wrong way around, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I'm going to get so tangled. <laughs> right, so here we go. Where are you? I don't quite know <laughs> if I'm going to be able to get half of this on screen. But we'll give it a go, won't we? Right, get back as far as I can. 
There is a gonna be yarn balls. <laughs> There's yarn balls flying all over the place already. Right, here we go. Alright, let's top it. Yep. I haven't quite worked out how to do this. Do -do 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 -do. I'm looking through the hole. <laughs> Can you see him? Yep, that's that side. Whoop. And use my head. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, that's about the best I can do. It's um, as I said, it's big. But um, once once it's finished, I'll be able to pop it up behind. I'm going to stick it where the moose was, so that you guys can see it a bit better. <laughs> right. Okay. So where are we? Smirnoff had Subway. Couldn't be bothered to cook. Kathy's saying she's doing well, Kaz and you. Smyrna said I do that in my head. I've sent a message. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> it's close, isn't it? Um, and Kathy's saying it's okay. How I'm just being a pain. No, don't worry about it, darling. It'll come through tomorrow. <laughs> As I said, all right, okay. So we've got your comments coming in now. It is, that looks awesome. Oh my gosh, beautiful. That's Mahoos. <laughs> and so cute that is done in the uh, corner to corner mini <laughs> but, uh, yeah it's done in this stitch <laughs> now do you understand why I, um before chris uh, what was it before new year I'd, I'd said i've done it but i think i need to strip it back i'd only done 54 rows or 59 rows of the old one and it was already bigger than um oh let's move you stay on um yeah it was already bigger than the moose and that included the border on the moose and i hadn't even got to the first corner so i didn't even know how long and wide it was going to be so that's why um that's why i went down to the mini Right, so uh, Kath is saying, oh, she hasn't had a Subway in years. She would love a meatball sub with chipolate. <laughs> I'm not keen on the meatballs, sorry. <laughs> uh, Kath is saying, yes, we're all well here. Thanks, Kath. And Steph is saying hi to Kath. Um, Kath is saying that is so beautiful, Ange. It's huge though. It's yeah, mahusive, absolutely mahusive. Right, uh, Clogger has said love to all. She needs to go and check post and run other errands. Thank you for joining us this evening, this afternoon, Annie. I'll we'll see you soon. Have a safe day. Right. So Kath is saying hi to Steph and bye to Clogger. Right, how many girls have we got on and guys have we got in? According to this, I've got nine viewers, possibly eight. Now one's legging it. Right, okay, we'll have to see how we go. How many of you are still waiting on getting your hands on the um, winners only pattern this week? Which is, of course, our oh, brain's gone to sleep. I got no strings. It's one of the Disma out of the Disma range, and it's 122 rows. Because once I find my questions, <laughs> there we go. Found them. Once we find the questions, then we'll start playing. Now, are we going to? How do you want to play this, gang? Shall I just? read it out like we usually do or do you want to try and guess how my brain is working this evening <laughs> oh blimey oh, i've looked at that one so i couldn't even do it if i wanted to all right we'll go for the standard play to start with okay so the first one up i'll just type that in now is a card games and i'm gonna look for number nine. Oh, so that is a card games so fire off as many card games as you can think of and we'll see who gets there first <laughs> all right let's 
move that because Mister's legged it. Thankfully. Oh, thank you, Smirnoff. So two of my watches is our Smirnoff because she's watching me on her telly on one account and chatting on a different account. The um, plunger hat was that, Kath? Oh, I tell you what, girls, if you didn't get to watch um, Kath and Reggie this weekend over on J Hook Crochets Live, you need to go and watch it. Reggie found some absolutely uh, cool images of crochet and there's a hat in there that's shaped as a plunger. <laughs> oh, I was so tempted. I really was. But I just got this so much to do. <laughs> You're just going to have to wait. <laughs> right, let's see, you guys. Oh, no. Will you just move? Oh, thank God for that. Right. Right, so we are looking for number nine. Um. <laughs> Smirnoff is says she's not suggesting a category after last after the last yarn brands last time well I don't know much about them do I <laughs> right so we've got spades snap gym runny snap clue solitaire cheat whist bridge blackjack oh oh it's jumped this is gonna be fun uh blackjack King in the corner, Canucks, Go Fish, Bacharach, I think that is, 52, 52 card pick up, welcome in that, um, Old Maid Snap, Beat the Neighbour, Jim Runny, Go Fish, Black Jack Split, Rummy, <laughs> you lot have got a drink on the mind, <laughs> Jim on me, so he told ya. We do, in fact, have our first winner. Now, to the winner, if you've already got it, do me a favour and just shout, roll it, and I will read a, another card out. But here we go. Are you ready? The winner is our Jane. Congratulations, honey. And she said poker, and she came out with it straight off the bat. I bet you thought I missed your comment. <laughs> Didn't. I saw it, copied it, posted it, stuck it in <laughs> on the super quick. Oh, dear. Right, so turn that around. I just can't remember if you've already got it. If you don't want it as well, you don't have to have it. But if you want it, shout yes, please. Right, Jane's getting me to roll it on. Okay. Right, so our next category up is martial art. <laughs> So that's martial arts, and I'm looking for number nine again. Jane's on fire. That she is. <laughs> we'll see. Will she get another one? <laughs> okay, so Sarah is off to eat. Sorry, bye. She says, don't worry about it, darling. Munch away. Have have a nice um, dinner. Right, so we got judo. We got taekwondo. We got judo. We got taekwondo. We got taekwondo. Got karate, kung fu. I have never heard of that one. Um, no. Jazzy toe. <laughs> That's definitely not how it's said. <laughs> My pattern's nose. You have completely lost me there, cat. I'm gonna have to go and rewatch it, aren't I? Yeah, because Kath is saying, Yes, the plunger hat's so funny, and your pattern's nose. I'm still lost, unless you're talking about the big one that I've just shown everybody. Right, we got kickboxing, we got origami. <laughs> kickboxing she's not playing giving others a chance jane don't worry about it it just means i read out another question it goes a little bit quicker join in um oh sarah is heading off goodbye darling have a lovely evening St 
Fantastic fighting, says Kaz. Okay, it's going downhill really quickly now. Well, we do actually have a, a winner. It is our Smirnoff. Congratulations, darling. And she said a Kung Fu. Okay, spelt wrong, but I knew what she meant. So, congratulations, darling. Oh, I'm croaky. <clears throat> and Smirnoff is saying, roll it. Right, so now we are looking for animal homes. And you get extra brown um extra bragging rights if you can give me the animal and what the home is called. Okay, so that is um animal homes. So it'd be something like um a bird and a nest. I've given you number one. I'm looking for number nine. Dre. Hello, Dodo. Dodo's in with a Dre. Oh, nope. It's not a squirrel's house. It is a not. Uh, where am I? I've lost it already. It's not a den. Oh no, Smirnoff's lost her TV zapper. Find it. It'll be down the side or underneath if you've got one of the pingy chairs. Stable. Bear. Oh right, yes. Thank you, Kath. <laughs> yeah, the pattern that everybody's unlucky enough to be trying to win tonight. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to pop outside in a second um, to grab my tablet. I've just been i've just had it on charge it's only in case uh, i start that again have any of you not actually seen this pattern you're trying to win this evening we do have ourselves a, a winner gang <laughs> i'm showing that one <laughs> so enough says she's back her tv remote was under her butt as per you as per <laughs> sounds like me that really does all right so uh, congratulations we have ourselves a, a winner and the animal was a badger and dodo came in with a set so congratulations honey it's been off for cave birds nest right at the beginning is the example so congratulations dodo we're just waiting on you to say whether you uh, want to uh, roll it or not And Dodo saying, roll it please, okie dokies. Right, so your next question is, I'm not going to bother typing it, I'm going to have to, and I? <laughs> Excuse any dodgy spelling, <laughs> I'm just getting it out really quick. And Kathy knows animal groups, not animal homes. <laughs> okay, Smirnoff, you are completely confusing me. It's the pattern with the pro tro oh, I don't know. It's the one with the big nose. <laughs> it stretches when he fibs. <laughs> uh Right, so our next question, I'll go and get I'll get my tablet in a second to show you. Right, I'm looking for number nine again. Oh excuse the dodgy spelling. Don't worry about it, I'll read it out to you. It is a things associated with the circus. That is a things associated with the circus, okay? Alright, I'm gonna go and grab my tablet so I can show you what it all looks like and I'll be back in a few seconds. Oh, 
we're doing well, we're doing well. <laughs> Sorry, Sabrina, I shouldn't laugh. I've just scanned my comments back up. All right. Okay, so Kath is saying, with the thing sticking out, <laughs> giggles. Sabrina comes in with, the more I hear these questions, the more I realise I'm rubbish at trivia. Best not go on the chase. Wouldn't last 10 seconds, nor would I. I'll be there going, I know it, it's there, it won't come out. <laughs> or I'll be standing there telling the person next to me, sh shoving clues in their face, going, it's blah, 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 and blah, blah. Oh, and they were in this and they were in that just because I can't remember their name. All right, where are we? That one there. Is this one here? All right, so uh, let's have a look. All right, um, yeah, well, anyway, I'll show you it first. All right, so here we go. Oh, can't even see if it's gonna be on screen. There we go, there we go. Ah, uh, that's our guy that we're talking about and they're taking the mickey out of his nose. It's his own fault, he shouldn't have fibbed. Okay, so that is him. That is 122 rows of no strings. Right, so let's see. We're looking for number nine, aren't we? So it's not clowns, clowns, clowns. Ring, bear, ringmaster, 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 acrobat. Lions, <laughs> elephants, trapeze, elephant, ten, acrobat. Oh, where are we gone? It's jumped. Where are we gone? Ringmaster, horses, candy floss, caramel, costumes, peanuts, floods, pom pom. Message retracted. Oh, I missed it. I want to be nosy now. Unicycle. Ah, oh, so Kathy's saying she's better at these questions than the ones that we had last week. I've still got them sitting here, but the problem is I can't see the print. I need a magnifying glass. We have ourselves a winner. You're not going to believe it, gang. You're really not. She's gone and done it again, isn't she? <laughs> O'Leary, <laughs> Ashman off. <laughs> Congratulations, Bracken writes two questions in a row or nearly. Um, don't panic. I got more. <laughs> Kathy's saying lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! We got to remember these questions are over ten years old. So it was before um the animal rights people started knocking on their um tent flaps, going let these animals out and let them free. Oh dear, we're going to be in trouble with this one. <laughs> I thought it was going to be uh, rolled on, Smirnoff, don't panic. I've um, got my next question set up. But um, I know I'm in trouble with this one, I really do. Oh. Right, and again, I'm looking for number nine on this one. I'm in so much trouble. And the question is, are parts of the body that come in pairs? That is, are parts of the body that come in pairs? Oh, dear. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> so Kathy Swain, smirn off again. Girl, you're bad for my reputation. <laughs> She's just picking up your slack, Kath. That's all. Just picking up your slack. <laughs> right, so we've got feet, we've got feet, we've got hands, we've got eyes, we've got ears, we've got hands, we've got ears, we've got ears. Keep going. we got legs. <laughs> we got uh, lips, eyes. Not oh, pardon me. Arms, eyes, legs, <laughs> balls. You had to do it, didn't you, Teresa? <laughs> Welcoming, honey. Um, <laughs> Smirnoff says she can't think of any body parts that come in nines. <laughs> oh, my punctuation's so bad tonight, actually. So is, so is my spelling. Right, so we've got... I'm lost. I'm going to have to go right back up to the top again because it's just skipped, so... Let's you keep throwing them out and I'll fight with them with the chat. Um, where are we? Feet, feet, hands, eyes, ears, hands, ears, 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 legs, lips, eyes, um, arms, eyes, legs. Can't think of anything that comes in it. Right, okay. We've got arms, hands, knees. <laughs> Kath, cheeky. 
Kiki. <laughs> oh, number nine, says my mum. Knees, knees, kidneys. Oh, eyebrows, lungs, kidneys, eyebrows, nostrils, ankles, nostrils, elbows, cheeks. We have ourselves a winner, gang. And our winner was Steph. Congratulations, honey. Now, I can't remember. Am I rolling it for you as well? So, a congratulations, Steph. That one went pretty fast. You lot were proper on it. Firing them off. Jane, do yourself a favour, darling, and do a bit of a quick refresh because um, you're coming through a lot slower than I think you're in intending to. And Steph is saying, roll it. Oh, I think there's only two in the chat that need the pan. <laughs> we'll get there, gang. We'll get there. Right. Okay, so our next one, I'm going to change the number up because I can't read <laughs> number nine on this one. Right, so our next one is a countries. So that is, a, sorry, I didn't actually say it, did I? Oh my God, I can't put that in. Thank you, auto spelling correct. <laughs> right, countries beginning with the letter A. Yes, I didn't write countries correctly. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you what it is. Your dirty mind has already sussed it out. <laughs> so now we are looking. Oh, right. Okay, that explains it, Jane. Right, so uh, as I said, we are now looking for countries with the letter A. So we got Australia, Austria, Austria, Australia, Austria. Uh, yeah, I can't read that one. It's not that one. It's not Argentina. It's not Austria. It's not Iran, Armenia, America. That one's already been said. Asia, Amsterdam. It's not Africa. Abas Ab Abas Thanks, Kath. No, it ain't that one either. <laughs> I can say it in my head. I can't get it out my <laughs> out my gob. It's not Afghanistan. I must admit, I did read it wrong and I thought it was a rabbit. There's your clue. Just double checking. No, it's not Afghanistan, it's not Armenia. Very clever thinking, Kath, but it's not Antarctica. Just trying to think of all the ones to trip me up, aren't you? It is not Andorra. Ah, so you guys are all pretty hot on it now. You're all coming out with the answer, or two of you have. Right, the correct answer is Angola. And our winner, as it was on my screen, is a knit in purple. So congratulations, darling. You've gone and done it with a number six. Come on, focus in. There we go. So I can't remember if, if you've got this one or not, darling. If you have, <laughs> shout roll it. Or if you don't want it, shout roll it and we'll keep playing on. Right, so purple is grabbing it. Beautiful. And I do suggest you do it in a three weight yarn with a, a 3.5 or 4 millimeter hook, depending. 
and go for the c2c mini and how to do the c2c mini when on the channel today um because otherwise it's gonna be massive um so congratulations darling you know how to claim didn't you make sure you pop a comment on this video when it goes into replay fire me off an email wait for your code word shove uh shove it into your comment and then once i see it i'll fire you over your pattern sweet so congratulations Ooh, number nine, I like this one. And Natalie is heading off now. She said, okay, she's got to go. Have a wonderful day all. Thank you for joining us today, babes. Have a, a lovely rest of your day. Right, so our next one up. Spell correctly, Ange. Now I'm looking for number nine again. It is Extreme Sports. So name as many Extreme Sports as you can think of. Right, so everybody's also saying bye-bye to Natalie as well. <laughs> Hockey says Teresa, yeah, the way we used to play it. <laughs> Crikey. The, boy, it, the teachers actually gave us kids, the boys, um, football guards. And um, yeah, we still broke them. Proper Centrinians we were. Proper Centrinians. <laughs> so we got hockey, we got snowboarding, we got bungee jumping. Sudoku <laughs> says Kath. Surfing, paragliding, darts. Rock climbing trees. I'm going to giggle at Kath. Oh. Fishing. I suppose if you're shark fishing. <laughs> um, diving, dirt bike racing, kite surfing. And we've got canoeing i think that is parachuting abseiling abseiling just trying to see if any of you can think of anything else <laughs> i tell you what though you're lucky i didn't pick number 10 you are so lucky i didn't pick it i'll let you read it in a second Bungee jumping, shark, shark cage diving and base jumping. We have ourselves a winner. And it is our dodo with a kite surfing. Congratulations, darling. Yeah, have a reader number 10, gang. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Look at that for number 10. Would you risk it? I wouldn't. <laughs> And don't know saying roll it. Okay. And um, boy bands, gang. Boy bands. Oh no, we can't do that one. That's really going to confuse me. Uh, I'm going to go for number three. Just because I know some of you are going to be shouting out the, the, the top four, top five, <laughs> straight off. So we got boy bands. Remember, this is from over 10 years ago. This is from when we were at school. <laughs> Kaz is saying laugh out loud. Russian roulette is a sport, <laughs> I suppose, for some people. Kaz is straight in with new kids on the... Um, no, NSYNC, sorry. Oh, um, and no, nope, it's not NSYNC that I'm looking for and it's not Westlife, it's not Boys to Men, I'll take that. Or New Kids on the Block, or E17. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story about this band in a minute, actually. And New Kids on the Block, no, Hanson. No, that was after me, that was. New Kids on the Block, nope. 
thing is I'm now humming a tune in my head trying not to bring it out <laughs> like sing it because I'm bad at singing as we all know um nope it's definitely not new sh new kids on the block Not boys, oh, not wham. Beach Boys, Westlife Beatles. We have ourselves a winner. She got and done it again, I think. Right, congratulations, Kaz. You got and done it with Backstreet Boys. Now, I have to say it like that because I actually got to go over to Germany when I was about 19. I went over for a wedding and um, while I was there, I popped to this CD shop and, of course, everything's in German. <laughs> because I'm in Germany and um, I've gone in and I saw an album cover and I was like oh oh brill 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 Backstreet Boys have got a new album coming out so I'd run in there picked up what I thought was Backstreet Boys and come out with a big fat grin on my face so I only find out when I got home it wasn't Backstreet Boys it was Blackstreet Boys <laughs> never heard of them over here at all <laughs> Never at all. It was so far. I've still got the album somewhere. I've played it a couple of times, and they are an American group, I believe. But um, yeah, they didn't make it over to the UK, so it was one of these ones. It just filled up the uh, shelf and made the shelf look good because there was another one on the shelf. Okay, so Kaz is saying, roll it, babe. Yeah, Kath, I'm not going to attempt to uh, to read that out. I bet that's something naughty. That's not a band name. We know something or other. <laughs> okay. Okay, so our next one up is... Oh, was it no good diggity? I'm not singing that one either, Kath. You get me in trouble again. <laughs> right, so we've got... Um, I can't remember Sabrina, but all I know is I remember picking up the CD thinking it was Backstreet Boys. Um, yeah, Backstreet Boys, and I didn't. I got Blackstreet. Whether it was Blackstreet or Blackstreet Boys, I can't remember. I'd have to actually go and find find the album, and I think that one's in the car. Right, so our next one up for all of you that are scoffing your dinner or just about to have your brekkie. Right, things you get, I'm just going to... There we go. Spelt wrong. Yep. <laughs> things you get on an all-day breakfast. That is, uh, things you get on an all-day breakfast. Uh -huh. I'm just going to write the word breakfast down, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Right, so that is a things you get with an all-day breakfast. Stop it, Kath. Because, <laughs> yes, I do know what the next line is and remember the dodgy dance steps. Because, of course, we all had dodgy dance steps, didn't we? Right, and we are going to go... Oh, I've already done this one and I remember thinking about that one so we're going to go number eight on this one because I remember us laughing about number ten all right so let's have a look bacon egg sausage pancakes bacon bacon tomato uh, black pudding and beans toast mushroom bacon beans hash brown toast okay oh, We've had a jump. Uh, where are we? Black pudding, spinach, biscuits, ketchup, egg, fried toast, scrambled egg, hash brown, white pudding, baked beans, fried eggs, mushrooms. We have ourselves a winner. <laughs> and it is Kaz again. But this time she's coming with tomato. Congratulations, honey. So that's that card done. I think you guys have memorised this. <laughs> Let's pull out another random. Righty ho. Where are we going with 
this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a roll it can. Right, okay, so now we are on to surnames that are also a job names. Oh. Go on, Kath, you're slacking, girl, <laughs> you're slacking. <laughs> She's saying Kaz is on fire as well. Right, so here we go. It is a surnames that are also job names i'll just start job names in so that when i when i'm scooting along later in uh checking who's won what and where <laughs> i know that it's that question <laughs> oh no dodo's just said her mate's daughter was doing her head in looking at a cotton eye joe hoodie so she gave her the money to get it. The next day she was wearing it. You noticed it said Coconut Joe. Laugh out loud. You said nothing. Safer bet. <laughs> it really is a safer bet. Right. Um, what number was I doing? Sorry about that. He's vaping and forgetting to drink his fluids. Right. So we are going for number three this time. No, we're not. Oh, brain, Ange, brain. What number did I say or didn't I say a number? We'll go nine. Yeah, we'll stick to nine. Right, so it's not Baker, it's not Smith, it's not Butcher. Oh, it's jumped. <laughs> it's not Butcher, it's not Chef, it's not Smith. Number nine, put me fun by it. It's not Copper, it's not Mason, Mason, Plumber, Baker, Taylor. What did Smirnoff? Oh, okay, uh, where are we? It's not a cook, it's not a cook, it's not a gold sh goldsmith, shepherd, farmer, sh watchmaker, as a guess, <laughs> blacksmith, uh, silversmith, tailor, baker, tailor, barber, white, carpenter, butler, copper, king. No, you ain't got it yet. Um, and keep going, gang. Um, I'm trying to think of a clue, but it's going to be really naughty. Really naughty. It's not a fisher. Okay. Um, no, I can't say that one. I don't know how to explain it without completely and utterly giving it away. No, it's not a crocheter. Um... They work with leather. There we go. Right, it's not a sailor. Somebody that works with leather. It's not a shepherd or a tinker. Or a tailor or a cobbler. <laughs> or a judge. Or a jack. <laughs> so I'm just by guys you gone and done it again honey <laughs> you've done it with Tana congratulations babe you are on one heck of a roll tonight you really are wow <laughs> don't worry about it honey it's all in fun it's all in jest and all the girls know we just keep going don't we until we get our winners this is where you lot stitch me up and i'll be here for the next three hours <laughs> right okay so straight in with our next one don't worry about it kaz because there's only a couple of people that that i think are here to win i can't remember if there <laughs> um who is and who isn't because <laughs> i think most of you have got it kath hasn't though we're stitching Kath up at the moment. Doesn't matter. She'll get there in the end. All right. Okay. So our next one is a British Inventions. And I'm going to go for number 10 on this one because I'm being nice. 
<laughs> yeah, Kaz, what's in that cereal, says Kath. Right, so our next, this one out is British. Oh. British Inventions. Okay, so we got Tr Kath, Teresa and Sabrina that are after it. <laughs> Cat's waiting on the pudding hat. Dodo Pakilin, don't start her off again. <laughs> Please don't start her off again. Right, so we've got telephone. Um, and Kathy's saying that her lucky title is going to Kaz now. Smirnoff is saying a light bulb. Come on, Kath. <laughs> Oh no, Kathy's saying right, she's a dodo, she's on strike. <laughs> Eggs Ray, then we got driving on the wrong side of the road. You're gonna kick yourself, Kath, you really are. Um Steam a locomotive, Pram, Dyson, Automobile. No. Warm <laughs> beer. <laughs> oh dear. I need to let that back in. Oh, where are we gone? <laughs> Thank you, other moderator. Oh, there we go. Right, okay, so where were we? Uh, da, 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 da. Automobile, a warm beer, radio, a, a guillotine. Beans in tomato <laughs> sauce, says Kath. Guillotine, motor car, English language. Oh no, you've been beaten to it. You'll all get what I mean in, in a second. I was a bit evil for you lot, but Kath got beaten anyway. And she was still thinking alcohol, you see. <laughs> right, it's not aeroplane, it's not roads, it's not steam engine, it's not a flushing toilet, it's not radio, it's not bicycle. Jane, you've gone and done it, girl. With a cat's eyes. Come, Kath. <laughs> I tried, I tried, I gave you the biggest fattest clue. I used part of your name, woman. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I, I'm guessing I'm rolling again. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Jane. Yep, sorry. I forgot to say that. I'm just so busy on trying to get the questions out to you guys so that you can just go boom, boom, boom with your answers. Right. Yeah, I thought it was Jane. I thought it'd be a roll. Um, a roll. It. What's cat size? Um, they're those little things that are in the middle of motorways in the UK that bounce the light back out at you from cars, so that you can see where the roads divided in the light. Like, the lanes are divided on the motorway. They come in white and red and green and orange, I think. Might not be, I might have got one of them wrong. Someone else will tell me no, Angie Dopey Donut. There we go, Smirnoff said it a bit better than me. The little reflectors that divide lanes on the road. Some uh, dodos in with reflectors on in the middle of the road, Kath. No, I don't know whether you have them over over at yours. And Kathy's saying, I'm pretty sure Cat's invented. Cat's eyes. Oh, yuck. I, I'm, I'm stopping our conversation before we all get in too much trouble. Right, okay. So our next one is... Things that hold money. That is, things that hold money. And I'm going for... Number 10 on this one. <laughs> Things that hold money. Okay. So uh, let's see how you go with this one. And while you're typing it out, I'm just going to um, do a bit of channel spiel while you're having a play. 
All right, so if you're still sitting here watching this and you're in replay at the moment and you want a chance to get your hands on the pattern, of course, that is up for offer today, make sure you pop a comment in the description box and down below and I will draw a winner at the end of the month. Now, you also have a, another chance to get your hands on the pattern if you pop over to the Instagram page where I've put a post up there showing the um the cheeky guy and um you can then uh, pop a comment down below and do what it says in the description box to get your entry counted and of course there's also the third <laughs> attempt to get it which is over on the whips and bits that was on sunday this this past sunday all right okay so that's that bit done and then if you've got no interest in the corner to corner pattern at all but you love the look of either this one here or one of the ones sitting behind me. Remember the that there is a 10% off a code at the moment over on the Ravelry shop, which is the New Year Blowout. And the code is all in capital letters, N-Y-B-O. Just pop that in the code section before you finish off your order and cough up the cash. Right, so uh, let's go and have a nose now. And as if anybody's worked it out yet, I have been really bad with this one. Um, we got hand, we got purse, we got wallet, we got wallet, we got parking meter, pocket, till, bank, hand, coin purse, piggy bank, Kathy's saying not her, <laughs> 10 Downing Street says, says our Sabrina, we got money bag, we got bank, we got bank, we got tax man. Smirnoff is saying the reason for the cat's eyes were called cat's eyes was because the guy who invented them saw the way real cat's eyes reflected the light. Okay, I've said that safely and not added an extra comment in. Right, we've got hands, we've got fanny pack, we've got money box. Hubby's wallet. Only ever holds it because it never comes out, says Smirnoff. Um, and Kathy's saying, oh, that's actually clever and an awesome fact to know. Thanks, Smirnoff. Then we got Till, we got Till in the yarn shop. She says, I'm full of all, all um, useless useless information, says Smirnoff. Then we got bank account, we got bank, we got the, cu the couch cu cushions, we got washing machine filter. And uh, me too, Smirnoff. <laughs> From Gath. Nope, you still ain't got it yet. It's what my best mate calls me. <laughs> she says, I'm this, I'm this type of person. God. But if you haven't got an idea, ask and I'll see if I can think of a clue. I would say it's, um, if you think of Ebenezer Scrooge, is a, a, a more modern name <laughs> that we would call, it was something we would call somebody like Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> tight bottom says Kaz not quite um, not a pocket Kath <laughs> knitting purple is saying Scrooge not quite but as I said it's something that we would call somebody like Scrooge now Smirnoff is saying everyone in the UK is giggling at fanny pack we can't help it <laughs> I'm letting that one in, I don't care. I'm in one of them moods. Right, so Sabrina is heading off now. She is going to go and watch UGO with her boy. And she's saying, have a fun evening, everybody. Thank you ever so much for joining us today, darling. And good luck with that. I've already done all the seasons. <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. <laughs> all right, then we got a miser. Knitting Purple came in with a tight ass. And safe lockbox miser, and then uh, Kath is saying with reason, Smanoff. Bye, Sabrina. Have a lovely evening, says Kath. Okay, I'm trying to think. I don't want to just give it for giving sake here, but none of you have quite got there yet. But I think it might be because you might get banned if you wrote it down. <laughs> but yeah, everybody is saying a night to Sabrina and take care to Sabrina, which is cool. Skin Flint says Smirnoff. If I go like that. Ho, 
hopefully uh, you get it then who's going to be daring enough to see if the uh they stop us what's the clue again um the clue again that's clue number two and it's what we would have called ebenezer scrooge but um we are looking for things that hold money <laughs> so we got um, my English vocabulary seems not to have loaded properly tonight. <laughs> don't over say in tight wad. <laughs> Cat comes in with cheap ass. And Dodo's gone and done it. We've uh, tight fisted. <laughs> Followed up really, really closely, actually. Um, by Teresa. And then we have a Smirnoff with fist. And then we've got tight fist. And then we've got tight butt. And then we've got Grinch. <laughs> Right, so the uh, first one up, as I said, it was our Dodo. Congratulations, Dodo. I have a feeling you're going to tell me uh, to roll it on. Right, so if it's a case of rolling it on, I've grabbed another name. Uh, okay, hold on. Roll it, please. Right, okay, next. instead of rolling it, I'm going to pick the next person that got the answer correct. So, Teresa, did you want the pattern or are you going to make me roll it? <laughs> We'll have two attempts on this one and um, then we'll go on to the next question if we need to. What, what time are we on? 8.30. It's tied at 7. <laughs> yeah, you girls are coming out with them pretty quick tonight. So Kath is saying Dodo also gets the lucky title. And Teresa is, yay, yes, please, sweet. There's <laughs> only pattern number two out tonight, gang. Right, okay, so you've got um you've gone and won yourself um no strings which is this month's pattern um it's only available this month <laughs> unless i decide to be evil to you lot and do the older uh, how was it <sighs> the passes so everybody's congratulating Teresa. so to claim it remember darling i need you to pop a comment on this video when it goes into replay then fire me over an email information's in the description box down below um, and then I'll give you that code for you to stick on the end of your comment. And then once I see it, I'll fire you over your pattern. All right. All right. Okay, well, I have lost the train of thought here. So we got, yeah, yes, please, says Teresa. So Kath says, I know, looks well. Way to go, Teresa. Thanks, Kath. Um, a wicked Teresa. Oh, well done, says Dodo. <laughs> my gosh, I've just seen my likes. I've had 19. Whoa. Sorry, I was just checking to see how many of you guys are in at the moment. It's saying there's nine of you. So, uh, fingers crossed one or two more of you are up for another one of these uh, patterns. All right, our next one up, we'll, um, we'll call this the last pattern we're getting rid of tonight, girls, because my throat's really playing me up. All right, so we've got varieties of herbs. So, that is a variety of herb. And I'm going to go for number one this time, because my brain is so faulty. So, that is a varieties of herb. I... Uh, uh. 
Oh, that is really badly spelt. Sorry, gang. Right, yeah, it's varieties of herb. I know, I'm pretty chuffed. Well, oh, it's just jumped. 25. Whoa. Right, okay. So, uh, let's see how we all go. We got... Dodo straight in with a basil. And then we have got rosemary, parsley, mint, sage, basil, coriander, thyme, oregano, thyme, chive, lemon, thyme, coriander. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, chili, parsley, coriander, dill and dill. Now, we have already got ourselves a winner. And I was going to jump it straight down to the second person. But it's... No, nah, it's been done, mate. <laughs> Dodo done you like a kipper gang with Basil and the next one in of course was Knitting Purple so I'm going to have to read another question <laughs> another one so congratulations girls you get bragging rights of course but that's one's over and done with straight off ooh ooh I like this one Yep, so a uh, congratulations there, Dodo. <laughs> Good old Mexican spinach. <laughs> Righty ho. Oh, hmm. Okay. Oh, it didn't even flip in time. <laughs> it's one of them nights, guys. Right, so our next one up is a fictional superheroes. And I'm looking for... <laughs> Pock off cats. Pack it in, you. Know. <laughs> I'll explain it to the rest of you who, if you're not reading this. But right, our next our next clue up is a fictional superheroes, and I'm looking for number eight. There we go. I've made the decision. It took me a while. <laughs> right. So Kathy's saying Dodo. But I think five wins a pudding hat. You two are a toad. Absolute toads. <laughs> Right, so we've got Thor, we've got Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, Superman, as uh, uh, Spider-Man, sorry, Catwoman, Iron Man, Superman, a uh, Robin, oh, no, no, not Spider-Man, Batman, Batman, not Black Widow, good thinking outside the box there, honey, I hope it's not Batman or the Hulk or the Hulk or the Hulk, you're working your way through them, aren't you girls? <laughs> It's not Black Panther. It's not Wonder Woman. It's not Captain America or Hulk. Tell me when, when you want a clue and I'll, I'll pass one over. No, it's not Wolverine. Not Banana Man or Super Ted. They would have burst, says Dodo. <laughs> It's not the Flash, it's not It's not Adam, it's not Rocket, it's not Ant-Man. Oh, I didn't realise I'd pick such a hard one here. It's not Iron Man. It's not She-Ra. <laughs> uh, you can actually watch She-Ra now on Netflix. Um, and Dodo, if you like um, He-Man, they've got a new series out on Netflix. <laughs> Been there, done it. And the voices they've got are absolutely amazing. They sound very similar to the original cast. But um, you'll be surprised who some of the uh, voice actors are. I was sitting there going, I recognise that voice. I know that voice. I know that voice. And I ended up having to wait until the, the names came up so I could go and search it to see if it was who I was thinking it was. Oh, why is it? 
It's getting daft. It's holding some right stupid ones tonight, isn't it, Kath? <laughs> right, sorry, we got Ant-Man, Iron Man, She-Ra, He-Man, Green Lantern, Fantastic Four, She-Woman, Asterix, the Bionic Man. Crikey, you're going back some dodo. Skivvy the Bush Kangaroo. <laughs> I loved that. Um, Oh, we going? Skippy. There we go, there's Skippy. Aquaman, Lassie, Thundercats were better. <laughs> Yes. And Bionic Woman, James Bond, Flipper, Lone Ranger. You lot are going to kick yourself. You really are. Okay. He's, he's the lesser known out of them. And I think the clue would be, it's what my kids call their grand Australian grandparents. Or it's what the kids call the grandparents when they're on the computer. <laughs> so Kathy's saying, she, honey, she never had to wait for the titles ever again. Then we got Dodo in with Wonder Woman. Then we got Green Lantern and Power Rangers. No. <laughs> so we got Oi. Seven, a Fantastic Four. Knitting Purple's coming in with 007. And no. Um, I'm trying to think. Who? What was? Who was he with? I'm sure he's Marvel. Are you lot going to give up on me? Smirnoff, you've done it, girl. You've gone and done it with Silver Surfer. Congratulations, babe. Whew, I was starting to give up on that one. I really was. Yep, so it's the Silver Surfer. Congratulations, honey. Are you collecting the pattern? Or are you making me roll it on? <laughs> oh, I ain't doing that one. Yes, really, you got it. Oh, okay, I'll prove it. I'll have to find the card. There we go. The silver surfer. You're gone and done it. Oh, you cowback. <laughs> yeah, she's only going to make me roll it. <laughs> Pudding out. <laughs> you guys be wearing crash helmets. <laughs> Are you toad? You're an absolute toad rag. <laughs> right, so we got, um, what, we got good tip. She's going for the pudding hat, says Toto. Oh, well. <laughs> um, I'm really getting bored of these cards tonight, gang. I'm really bored of them. <laughs> Everybody's going for a pudding hat. Oh, well. Right, um, oh, God, no, I'm not reading that. Purple is heading off. She said, "Gotta go now. Bye. Um, was it? Bye. Have fun. Have fun. Bye, bye, darling. Have a a lovely time." As <laughs> man off, he's popping on her pudding hat. <laughs> Kathy's saying, "Laugh out loud on the crash helmet." And, and bye, purple says, "Man off." Right here we go. Let's. Is there anybody left here now that's actually after the pattern apart from Kath? <laughs> I remember Kath needs it, didn't she? She's not doing too well tonight. Right, okay, let me think, let me think. Okay. We are going this time for American si um, Situation Comedies. Now remember, these are over 10 years old. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep. Oh, Kaz is heading off. Bye, Kaz. Have a good day, darling. Don't forget, if you get the chance, um, I'll pop into Spotty. They've some of the places have filled the bins up, and they've got some wicked cool discounts at the moment. Um, in the magazines that you get through your door. Have a nose and tell me what you got. Dra, darling. Right, okay, so uh, back to this question. It is American Situation Comedies. Uh, 
There we go. And I am gone for number four. So I've got to remember that, number four. I'm just going to do that. So. Right, so we've had you girls starting. Um, uh, let me think, what you got? We got, cheers, friends, Golden Girls Three's Company. Um. <laughs> Kath, what you like? Kathy's saying me, but I'm not really making an effort. Can't promise to either. <laughs> All right, Mork and Mindy, love that one. A Fraser Alf and the Brady Bunch, and no. Um, Roseanne, no. It's not different strokes. Quick clue is if I was posh enough to go to uni and dye my hair blonde, I could be this girl. Proper good. <laughs> it's not two and a half men or golden girls or the Fresh Prince. And it's not on Netflix, but it is on uh, Prime, I think. No, it's not Sabrina the Teenage Witch Smanoff. Nope, not the Crosby Show. Have I done it again? Have I picked a right awkward one? It's not Happy Days, Jane. I need to bring that back. It's quite a few I'd like them to bring back so that we can re-watch them again. But um, over here in, like in the UK now, they've just announced that Dad's Army is being taken off because it's not politically correct um, and I think there was a couple of others that they're no longer going to be showing because they're not politically correct but we'll get off that subject otherwise I'll start ranting <laughs> right it's not the Crosby show it's not happy days and it's not Buffy and it's not clueless it's not blondie Um, let me think, let me think. Um, oh, what was the song? She had songs going round her head quite a lot and she had a, there was a dancing baby. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of a, an idea. Um, not Buffy, not Clueless, not Blonde. I'm going to double check. Um, but I don't remember any of you coming out with it. Oh no, <laughs> not at all. There's only been a couple of answers. Um, okay, so if you guys don't know, just put don't know. <laughs> Smirnoff is saying she knows it's on the tip of her tongue. It's not legally blonde. But you, you're around the right idea there, Jane. You really are. Smirnoff is like, ah! <laughs> Toto's gone and done it. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked Dodo. Um, with Ali McBeal. Congratulations, darling. Oh, I didn't know that one, Kath. Kath is saying streaming services are also struggling with mu music rights. And that's why a lot of show shows aren't available. Like Chicago Hope, for instance. Well, just get rid of the title music. <laughs> like, put it up so we can still watch it. Yep, so Jane is saying, Jane also came in with Ali McBill after. Um, and Kathy's like, oh yes, Ali McBill, indeed. Oh, so close there. Right, so I'm guessing that it would technically be a, a rollover. <laughs> that was it, Kath. Yeah, I picked that because I thought, Do you know what? I'm back crazy and you guys are bound to cotton on quick. Oh, Smirnoff, you didn't know it. Oh, it's one that if you can, if you can find it, um, if you've got a warped sense of humour, which I've got a feeling you must do, because you're sticking around with us girls, <laughs> um, you'll find it funny. You will find it funny. Um, right, I'm not doing that one. Um. 
and dodo same roll it right i'm gonna have to actually call it quits for tonight guys my throat is proper kicking off and i need to safeguard it so i can harass you lot again tomorrow um yeah i'll be back for my uh, daytime live tomorrow if you're available it, i'd love to see you all here again um but if not don't worry all right so just a re little a uh, recap the um stitch a week went out today at four o'clock so if you're up for it you're up for a little challenge it should only take you about half hour um pop on back onto the channel and have a look um there is also the 10 uh, off over on the Ravelry shop by using the code N-Y-B-O in capital letters. Uh, what else was there? What else was there? Brain fart moment. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're, they're the main ones. Um, oh, Crafty! She sneaked in right at the last minute. And Teresa's back. Oh, no. <laughs> she was doing your dinner or something, wasn't you, Teresa? Brain's not in gear. Right, so yeah, um... So as I said, I'll be heading off shortly. So remember the uh, discount, the Stitch Week, and there was a third. Oh yeah, uh, pattern. If you're up for the um, wanting to grab this week's winner only pattern, I'll pop back in a few minutes and leave a comment in the description box down below. Remember as, as well, if you've won, make sure you do that as well. Um, this is today's um, pattern. This is no strings um and if you want another go at it it's also available there's a competition running over on instagram for the same pattern <laughs> and also um if you haven't had a chance to watch whips and bits from the weekend there is also a competition for it on there as well so that is three more chances for you guys to get your hands on that pattern all right so let's have a quick ride what are you saying <laughs> okay so this stupid chat so craft is saying dishes and lives perfect evening <laughs> okay as long as it kept you going during the dodgy housework that's the main thing so Teresa is saying hugs and loves everybody Jane says night all um Smirnoff said thanks Dodo that would have bugged her all night if she hadn't have worked out what it was Dodo saying take care everybody um Kathy's saying had a great time thanks crazies and night nights oh thanks for thanks for the laughs so Smirnoff a crafty saying yep yeah, working all day uh better luck next time crafty I am back on in the morning um if you pop back to the channel um there should be a notification up of the next ones um the next live which is at one o'clock tomorrow GMT so fingers crossed you can get in on that one it might be quite early for you <laughs> um oh better luck next time laugh out loud no strings obviously never heard of color work well they're all the corner to corner patterns darling so then it's not too bad she says looking at it ah oh, there's not too many color changes <laughs> you're gonna have fun <laughs> right i'm gonna head off now i will see you all really really soon if you can please stay in and definitely